Good morning, students. So the next type of connection we are going to discuss today is open delta connection or VV connection. In this connection, the voltage of any one phase of any instant is equal to some instantaneous voltage in the other two phases. So that if one transformer A of bank of delta connection transformer is disconnected, the difference of the potential between the line terminal remains unchanged and it is maintained by the remaining transformer B and C in series. Once the three phase power can still be obtained from line ABC, such connection is called as open delta or VV connection. Such connection is usually employed. Such connection is called as VV or open delta connection. Such arrangement is employed when three phase load is comparatively small so that installation does not warrant three phase bank, or else one of the transformer in a delta delta bank fails. The other reason can be it is anticipated that future load will increase to warrant the closing of open delta to some later date. So the connection diagram is something like this. You can see that from the figure in which three phase supply is connected to the primaries that is the capital R, Y and B. The secondary side the three equal three phase voltages will be available on the loop that is a small r, y, m. The voltages are shown in phase diagram also for the primary side capital R, y, b and for secondary side small r, y, b. The connection is used when three phase load is very small to warrant the installation of the full three phase transformer. So this is the kind of connection which we are also going to look and perform during our practical experiments. So as can be seen from the figure, this diagram, the primary, this is the primary side and this is the secondary side in case of delta-delta connection. The primary is also connected in delta, the secondary is also connected in delta. The line current is equal to root 3 times of phase currents. So in case of delta-delta capacity, the VL is the line voltage and the line current is equal to root 3 IL, that is root 3 IL. So total root 3 VL into root 3 IPH will is going to give 3 VL IPH. So in case if you are taking the transformer with KVA rating VI, so in KVA it will be upon 1000, total power supplied by the line will be VL IL by 1000 and if it is 3K transformer it will be 3 VL IL upon 1000, 3 times rating of the one transformer in case of 3 transformers and 3 connections. So the delta delta capacity becomes 3V Li. It can also be noted from the above figure for VV connection that secondary line current IL is equal to phase current IPH in case of delta delta connection. We have kept this one of the side of the three phase open in the delta delta connection so that the line current is directly equal to phase current in case of VV connection. So thus we can say that the VV capacity reduces for root 3 VL IL that is root 3 VL IPH in case of VV capacity. Let's compare the two capacities VV capacity and delta delta capacity as obtained in the previous two equations VV capacity is root 3 VL IPH and in delta delta capacity is 3 VL IPH. Putting the value over here in this equation you will get 1 by root 3 that is 0.577 you can see 57.7% or approximately 58%. So now if one of the transformer is removed from the bank, each transformer remaining is able to carry its rated full load current. Thus removal of one transformer from bank reduces the full load line current to root 3 i to i amperes. Thus the capacity becomes 57.7% and you can see 58%. Hence, it is not proper 66.7% which is the usual case that is the delta delta capacity. It becomes 57.7% in case of VV capacity. So there are certain limitations of this kind of connections. The average power factor at which VV bank is operating is less than with the load. This power factor is 86.6% of balance load power factor. The two transformer in VV bank operate at different power, different power factor except for the balance unity power factor load. The terminal voltage available on the secondary side becomes unbalanced. This may happen even though load is perfectly balanced. 
Thus, in summary, we can say that if two transformers are connected in weekly fashion and are loaded to weighted capacity, one transformer is added to increase the total capacity by two three times. Thus, increase in capacity is 73. This is 73.2 percent when connected from VV to delta delta system. With a bank of two single phase transformer connection in VV fashion, supplying a balanced three phase load with cos phi as power factor. One of the problem formula, then one transform operate as cos 30 minus 5 and other at cos 30 plus 5. So the power factor for the two transformer becomes KVA cos phi 30 minus 5 and KV cos phi 30 plus 5. So thus you can see that the voltage diagrams also you have seen that the connection to which three phase load is very small. Thus the warrants installation of three phase transformers. So we are actually going to perform this practical and we are going to check does the capacity actually reduces to 57 percent or not after changing from delta delta connection to VV connection. We are going to verify during our practical session the same results. Thank you.